gonna wheel you up here. Okay, gonna get the legs here, pull you forward. Scoot you to the edge of the chairs, so I'm gonna rock you back and forth. Okay. All right now, I'm gonna need you to help me as much as you can. Okay. All right. Okay. On the count of three, go underneath there. On the count of three, we're gonna move to the shower. One, two. Okay, then let's go and scoot back. Alright, great! Alright, all done with the shower there? <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're gonna dry the floor off. And you're already nice and dried off. That's good. Your shower, Jessica. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's get going. Alright. Get this up here. Eh. Notice that Catherine did not prepare for the transfer and she did not dry off the floor. It is crucial to always dry the floor and the individual completely before exiting the shower. It is also imperative to always wear a gait belt and shoes with traction to prevent falls. Also make sure the individual does not hold on to the shower door because this is not a stable source of support. If the individual starts to fall, return them to the closest surface and always discontinue the transfer if you feel uncomfortable. Some tips for shower transfers include removing shower doors and adding curtains to remove the temptation for using the shower door for support and also makes for a wider entrance to the shower. Most showers don't come with a chair inside like this one, so shower chairs and grab bars for support are a good option and can be very beneficial. Also, handheld shower heads are helpful for someone who needs to be seated during a shower. Yep. Alright, we're gonna wheel you up here. Okay, gonna get the 